Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Tricks and Toro Tuesdays, the series on my channel where I take a trick, I break it down, I show you what's good with it. Now today we're looking at a trick I'm actually not myself too good at. In fact, I get roasted by my friends all the time how I actually do these horribly. But I know how to do them and I'm going to teach you, I'm going to spread the knowledge. So, we're looking at a tuck no hander today and yes, that's right. One of those tricks, boom. Look at that, ready for it, wait for it. Boom, look how epic that is. So this should be a pretty short tutorial. I mean, it's just a tuck no-hander. It's not really too much to it, so I'm just gonna get right into it. With a tuck no-hander, you pretty much wanna be confident enough to be hitting jumps, because you're probably gonna be hitting this trick over a box, maybe doing an air or something like that. I don't imagine you doing it flat. I mean, let's be real. Even though it's sick. So I'd say what you need is a good amount of confidence and actually probably bar height that's up to your waist. And why I say that is because with tuck no-handers, I used to have a problem with it back in the day when I had shorter bars, because when it came to actually doing the tuck no-hander, when I was on my scooter riding, actually getting into the stance of doing a tuck now, I'd have to completely change, bend down, go all like hump back like this, and then be able to do it. But now that I have bars at my actual waist, I have the ability to be riding, and I can just easily just go for that tuck no hander by pushing my weight forward to my bars. And then of course, how to do a tuck no hander is, of course, while I'm riding the scooter, when I'm jumping and I'm going for the trick, I'm gonna wanna use my body weight to push against the bars. I almost kinda use my knees a little bit to wrap around, but I would do that, that way the bars don't turn, and you can sit there and safely take off your hands, get it as big as you want, and then come back down for the landing and the Steve's roll away. Oh my god. Well, you know what? That's what you get when you use bricks for a tripod. I literally have a tripod I'm not using because I'm 5'6", and you know, I'd be looking down on myself. So we're getting those bricks again. And so honestly, I'd recommend probably going to a bank, maybe some fly out and trying to do the tuck no hander there. As you know, of course, flat is probably not going to do it for you. And you want to get some time in the air so you can actually extend that tuck no hander so that way it actually feels good when you do it. And don't worry if your tuck no handers when you start off are literally like this. You're barely getting your fingertips off because I did the same thing too. You're going to work on them. You're going to get them better. Get them fat. Extend them. Help break your arms when you throw your arms back so hard. That's how fat I want to see these. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not doing them that fat. But I hope this video helped you guys understand tuck no-handers and hopefully how to do them at the skate park when you go and give them a try. And if this helped you, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Comment down below what you want me to do for next Trick Tutorial of Tuesdays for me to actually do two videos. Because I'm doing two a week now on Trick Tutorial of Tuesdays. That's right. So for those two videos, comment down below what you want me to do because we're going to be speeding up the Trick Tutorials in general. And we're going to be branching out in the Trick Tutorial as well. A couple different things of tutorial-wise. But I'm literally going to go do one quick tuck no hander just because I have no one filming this so I'm going to be zooming into the resi right here but I have no filmer I'm going to do one really quick just to show you guys oh yeah subscribe turn on post notifications you know you don't want to miss any of my videos you know you definitely don't